Hi everyone, Tori here with today's Finishing December Daily Quickly video. Today I'm working on December 30th. I can't believe I'm almost finished my December Daily. I'm actually so psyched about it because I'm ready to be done. I want to work on scrapbook pages and project life so badly, but I like promised myself that I wouldn't work on them until my December Daily was done. I don't know. I feel like it's more motivation for me because I feel like if I stopped working on my December Daily and started working on something else, I would never go back. So I'm finishing it and I'm almost done. And this actually works out to be one of my favorite spreads in my whole entire album. And I'm actually so excited to be sharing it with you guys. I think what I love about it is just the cute moments that are here as well as the colors that I choose. And just, I feel like I didn't go overboard with embellishments or anything. I'm just super happy. Oh, I just love it. You know, when you step back and you're like, oh, I made that that's so good so I mean if you guys don't like it <laughs> I feel bad but maybe I'm hyping it up too much but I really enjoy this spread so I went through my project life cards trying to decide which ones to go through and I go through a lot and I'm not really happy with them so I decided to just scratch that and get rid of all of those project life cards I pulled out and instead do some 12 by 12 paper and so I originally grabbed out this collection which I got last year at Christmas and I thought about using those but then I didn't super love the colors they were too rich and I wanted something like happy and playful so Janice um, ha and I had done an exchange and she had sent me these beautiful papers and I don't know which collection they're from but they are so pretty and I love the colors so I thought you know I'm gonna use this in my December daily so I took four of the 12 by 12 papers and cut the cut out four by six cards so that I could use them in my December daily and I'm so happy I did because the colors just look so pretty so Janice if you're watching thank you so much for sending this to me I'm so happy and I love these papers they just look so pretty so thank you so I also had this paper with this like watercolor and it had this big circle that said be merry and I thought it would be fun to cut it out and include that as an embellishment. So I cut that out as well. And I'm just deciding which paper to layer under which photo and I do move those around just a little bit before I finally pick the, where I want them but this is where they're going to go in the end. And then the Be Merry was a little big, so I wanted to punch it out again and make it a little smaller. So I used this punch, which I believe is one and three quarters, maybe one and a half, and punched out the Be Merry. And I'm going to include that on that photo that my sister took of me. So the 30th was the last day that Courtney and I got to spend together in Uganda. And so we decided to go to a nice restaurant and get dressed up. And um, that's what the two photos on the left are, a photo of her that I took and a photo that she took of me. And I just think these photos look so nice and it's sort of fun. So the nice restaurant wasn't actually that nice, but um, it, it was still fun going there with her. It was like, we thought it was this nice restaurant and it was nice, but it turned out that it was just like wine and cheese restaurant. Like literally all that was on the menu was wine and cheese and I don't even drink wine. So we were both very hungry, which is why after that we went to the mall and got dessert, which is what the photo on the other side is. And I got creme brulee and she got cheesecake. And that's basically what we had for lunch and it was so good. So um, I also thought it would be fun to add another circle of that like peach watercolor kind of color. So I punched it out with my, my punch and then inked the color, the edges with black and stuck that to the photo of Courtney and I'm going to add something there. And then as I'm going arounding the corners, because I really like all my corners to be rounded, and all of these photos are four by four. Um, I think there are photos that I posted on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you should check me out. It's V Bissell um, for Victoria. That's my actual name. I really wanted Tori Bissell, but it was already taken. And I highly considered paying a 16 year old for her Instagram name, but you know, I thought that might be weird. So V Bissell it is. <laughs> and I've left a link for that below for you guys if you want to check me out. And you can find out more about these photos or see them up up close and personal. And find out more about me and what I'm doing. So 
I had this one Project Life card that said let's be cozy and I thought it would be fun to use those words on the photo of my sister and I sitting on a couch and we were just talking and I grabbed this photo. We both had our feet out and we were both wearing jeans and I just thought it looked so cute. So I took that let's be let's get cozy card cut it up so it was just the words and then stuck that on the space in between my sister and I and then also added a red epoxy heart and then I used the lines that were already on the paper to add my journaling just about one of my favorite things about this Christmas has just been like sitting and talking with Courtney and just hanging out so love that so then the next card is the photo of me and this is a photo my sister took of me and I added some just faux stitching lines with my black journaling pen just for fun along that card and then also along the circle of my sister and then I thought it would be fun to add a word sticker there so I used a word sticker that says appreciate like because I appreciate her and a gold glittery heart from seven paper to that circle and then I also added a gold glittery heart to our desserts um, because they were delicious that was the best creme brulee ever I almost wanted another one but like that's disgusting but it would have been too sweet but it was so good and then I had these small talk stickers which are tiny word phrase stickers from Tim Holtz and I just grabbed a couple of them and added them to the card of myself and it just says always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder be open to whatever comes next to be fearless and I just sort of trimmed those down a little bit and put that on the side there. And I love the look of the black on there. And then on the dessert photo, I just decided to add some journaling right on the photo just to talk about how we were still hungry. So we went for some sweets. And then I have the tag and I need to add something to the back. So I grabbed some more of that paper that I had cut up and with the pink, pink watercolor kind of look. And I'm just going to trim around that to go on the back of there and then on the back of that I'm going to include a photo that one of the waiters at the fancy restaurant took of my sister and I and I love that photo of the two of us it's not a selfie which is nice because most of the photos we took this year were selfies so it was nice to have somebody else take a photo of us so I wanted to just add a little bit of definition so I inked the edges and then I'm going to add that fun sketchy faux stitching line that I really love doing around the edges of that tag just to bring a little extra of that element. I think that's one of my favorite things to do right now. Just add my own like faux stitching lines because I don't know how to use a sewing machine. So, yep. Um, oh, there's another thing I wanted to say. I started a blog. So you guys should totally check out my blog. Um, I'll leave a link for it below. And I like to talk about lots of fun stuff. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's about as self-serving I can get. And then I added a word sticker that just says happiness and gold sparkly heart there too. And basically the, jur the journaling and the embellishments on this page is really simple. Um, I felt like the tag needed a little bit more so I grabbed a couple of these um, My Mind's Eye stickers and stuck them on there and that's it. The page is done and I'm so excited about it. I love the way it worked out. What do you guys think? Do you like the colors? Um, do you like the photos? <laughs> I'd love to hear some feedback. You guys can leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my Finishing December Daily Quickly series. I'm loving putting this on for you, and I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, there's one more video <laughs> in the 31st, which is coming up real soon, so check back later for that video, and then I'll be doing a walkthrough. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Have a lovely day. Bye!